Well, uh, out of these new fighters that we have now, who do you see as closest to those fighters that you're mentioning? Well, certainly Tiafimo got a shot. He got it if he shuts up a little bit, and, <laughs> and you know, and, and I think Tiafimo has a shot. Uh, I think that Javante uh, uh, Davis again has a shot yes, sir. to be a, a really good. A really good fight. Speaking of Javante Davis, you hosted here Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez for Undisputed at 140. What are your thoughts on Javante moving up to fight uh, for a regular title? At, I think he's too small at 140. If you want to know what I think, I don't think that Taylor would have any trouble with him. But again, again, but he has advisors. And, and real quick, Rob, any uh, updates on the next fight for uh, Terrence Bud Crawford? We're meeting uh, with him, with his people, on Friday at our office, and we're gonna, we want him back in the ring uh, by early October. Uh, yes. Bob, Bob, I spoke with Teofimo last week, I spoke with David Haney last week, and I spoke with Lomachenko on this Tuesday. So I would like to ask you, what's next for Teofimo? Is it well, Teofimo, uh, I talked with his manager, David McWhorter, and he has a number of ways to go. One, if he wants to do a, a lightweight fight, the best fight, as far as he wants to do pay-per-view, is Tiafimo, is a rematch with Tiafimo. I mean, with uh, Lomachenko. Uh, that would do good business. But he may very well uh, decide that his goal is to fight Josh Taylor, in which case I would put him in with one of our 140 pounders uh, like Julian Rodriguez or uh, Jose Pedraza, whoever wins the fight on Saturday, that would be a very interesting fight uh, with Tiafimo either against Pedraza in the Garden in New York or against Julian Rodriguez. What, what, what about a fight with Devin Haney who has... Devin Haney, the, the problem with Devin Haney is he has 30 days that he has to talk to Eddie Hearn. And then after the 30 days, apparently Eddie Hearn has a right to match. It's too complicated if I have to get him in the ring in October, Tiafimo, because Tiafimo's wife is having a baby in November and he wants to get that fight done before his child is born. So Devin Haney is going to be out of the picture for now because of the, the legalities. But Teal seems to want it next. I don't care what anybody wants next, but there are contracts and there are, are, are problems in doing a lot of things. I mean, wanting, it's not like a baby who wants certain kind of ice cream, right? What about Lomachenko and Devin Haney? What? Lomachenko, Devin Haney. Again, if, let's say, that's interesting, if, let's say, um, uh, Tiafimo is going to go the 140 pound route, that leaves Lomachenko looking for a dance partner, and that would be an interesting fight, Devin Haney and Lomachenko. So, again, and we won't have the time constraints with Lomachenko uh, because if he has to fight in December, you know, that would be fine. And there's a, a, a date that we're looking for a big fight, and that's December 11th, because that's the Heisman Trophy. And, and so we'd be in Madison Square Garden, and, and that would be a good fight for the Garden.